Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at a tango, and if you're interested in playing tango music, then Libre Tango by Astor Piazzolla is a really good place to start. Now this arrangement I've made is for solo guitar, but it's normally played with two guitars or more, or guitar and ensemble. I'll take you through this first part of the arrangement, and I'm going to show you how to play it smoothly and staying in time. Now there's a few stretches, and it is really for intermediate players, but I really encourage you to try and work through this because it's a great Latin piece. Now, if you're an LGO member, which you can join on the link above, you'll have access to a play-long track, which is interactive, so it means you can slow it down, and also a backing track, which means you can play along with my band arrangement, which includes double bass and some percussion. It's quite a lot of fun. So let's get stuck in. So as I mentioned, my arrangement is actually the full version of Lupa Tango, and in this, video we're going to look at the first 16 bars which forms the main theme. Okay so the first two bars sound like this okay so there's an A open bass and then we're playing so it's a series of E's and F's hammer and pull off and then we do A a C A on the third string notice it's quite staccato um, and that helps the articulation kind of helps bring out that rhythm so I encourage you to put that in as well if you can if you can't that sounds fine as well the second bar is just a, a variation okay so with the pull-offs just do a little peel try not to put too much uh, force onto it just peel down and the hammer just a nice strong with a fair bit of speed on 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 the tip of your finger it's important that we get those slurs those hammer on and pull offs really nicely articulated to bring out the rhythm so that kind of more or less is an a minor okay and there's a kind of a descending harmony so we're going to sort of move downwards with the bass kind of slowly moving downwards the next two bars so we're moving down to the first and second frets, D sharp to E, and then we're going to play B, F sharp. Now for most of this I'm playing with the thumb, um, but the high fingers, uh, the high strings have been played with the fingers. Next two bars. Okay, so we're going to D, B, B, F. Okay, then the next two bars, we're going, to move, we're going to move the harmony down to the fifth string. So I'm going to play open A, and then C, D, C, D, C, A, E. So you notice that, the, that we've had to let go of the bass note, which you could play there as well, but really I'm just going to play it open, and then... The next bass note is a G, with the same notes above. C, D, C, D, C, A, E. moving down F sharp so what I'm going to do is same same uh, top notes C and D this time it's A D sharp now here's a little bit of a stretch here do you find that difficult if you do you can lift it um, and you can have a look at one of my previous videos on guitar secrets to give you some stretching exercises Okay, so that's the fingering for that section. And then we're going to go uh, F natural. So everything moves down to first position. And this time I'm going to play the G sharp on the third string and then open D. So you might have noticed I probably would go one and then three, four. So you got the two to play the G sharp. And then the same fingering with the E bass. find that once you kind of get comfortable with that fingering you'll be able to add the top melody that goes on top uh, that comes in in the second section so there's a brief overview of the fingering of the first section of Liber Tango. there's a lot of chromatic movement quite an intricate melody which is sort of blends melody and arpeggio together 
So this piece is full of chromaticism. There's a kind of a blending of melody and arpeggio. This is all forms part of Piazzolla's sort of genius. And, and it's not particularly guitaristic. So because of this blending of arpeggio and melody, you have to play across a number of strings. You have to be mindful of articulation. You have to be mindful of the rhythm. You have to be mindful of the feel. So there's a few things that are happening at the same time. And of course, in an ensemble situation, there's all of the communication and the ensemble part that comes into it. But as a solo piece, as an introduction to a tango, as to, as to sort of start getting your mindset around what a tango is and how it feels, the harmonies in it, it's quite intricate and there's some beautiful kind of dissonances in there which resolve finally. So I hope you like that part of my arrangement and let me know what you think and if you have any questions around the techniques involved. If you'd like to stay in touch with more of my arrangements and lessons, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.